Hi, this is David, and uh, I'm the new caribou, Sir David, the Bard. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, what I'm going to talk about today is not a weenie out of the pants. <laughs> it's a weenie bulging the pants <laughs> of the band students. You can't even go into the band. I thought the band... Now, don't get me wrong here, but I was taught that the band kids were nerds. <laughs> no one wanted the band kids. Big glasses, fat, ugly, I don't know. Now, I know a lot of you are going to slap the shit out of me and say, My kid's beautiful. Well, how yeah, many plays the tuba? <laughs> but anyway, here's another Utah bulging of the pants <laughs> story. He's in jail. <laughs> the bulge was too big. All right, let me bring this one up. This is in Hurricane, Utah. That's a little town down by St. George, as I remember. And uh, it's small, so, you know, you can't, um, you can't get away with this. It, well, <laughs> you can't in any town in Utah. All right, this is out of the Salt Lake Tribune uh, 34 minutes ago, <laughs> so it's, it's hot <laughs> off the press. Uh, and the date, uh, who knows? I can't. They don't put the they don't put the dates on it up there sometimes. Hurricane, uh, we we call it hurricane or hurricane. Uh, music teacher charged in child sex abuse. <laughs> Damn. If there's any place you should be safe in school, it's the damn library or the band. <laughs> well. Tell your kids to go to the library because the band has a teacher with a huge bulge in his pants, according to court documents. All right, here we go. Um, a hurricane music teacher is accused of groping a 10-year-old girl uh, students in his violin class. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the girl had a Stradivarius. He was trying to get it from her. I don't know. In charges filed Tuesday, police wrote that four children told authorities their violin teacher, Lynn Richard Lumstrom, 62 years old, was touching them inappropriately, uh, inappropriately sometimes in front of the other students. <laughs> this guy's so stupid. He's not even trying to hide it, okay? One child, 10 years old, said Lumstrom stood behind her and touched her buttocks and thighs on a daily basis when uh, she would play solo parts in Lumstrom's violin class. <laughs> Did that put a smile on her face? Probably not. Did it put one on the band teacher's face? Probably did. The girl stated uh, that this, uh, she would try to sit down to get away from his hands on her butt, but he would tell her that she had to play while standing up. <laughs> When you see that great big band in front of the Mormon Tabernacle playing and they're singing, and if you see some of the girls standing up with their violins playing, you know they came from Hurricane and this was their music teacher. Okay, so you had to play the violin standing up because he had to get to your buttocks. Okay. Um, another girl, also 10 years old, now this is too bad, at a 10 year old, you're talking about, uh, what, a 5th grader? Uh, 10 years old, uh, that she tried to move away from Lumsum's grasp, he grabbed her harder and would not let her out of his reach. In one instance, he allegedly put his hands on her hips and pulled her close enough to feel his penis through clothing. <laughs> I don't know how a 10 year old girl would know that's a penis and not just his socks rolled up in his pants <laughs> damn it's not a penis out of the pants it's just a bulge in the pants here in Utah um, in one instance he allegedly put a hands on the hip and felt his penis through the clothing the girl's grandmother told police the girl does not want to play violin anymore because of the touching I don't know why you know Joseph Smith's 14-year-olds lined right up. I guess these 10-year-olds are just a little bit too young. I don't know. The girl also told investigators she saw Lundstrom grope a boy uh, during class. The boy said Lundstrom grabbed his buttocks and thighs. Uh, you know how you would grab a football. <laughs> well, when a passer grabs a football, 
you know, he just kind of hugs it into his chest, doesn't he? And puts his head down. Is that what the kid is indicating here? Yet another girl reported uh, she was similarly groped. Lumpstrom confessed. And I love the Mormons. They always confess, like, to a bishop. They're just trained to confess. Um, he, that there was some inappropriate touching, the police wrote. He said he was cheerleading. He said his cheerleading had gone too far and admitted that he crossed the line and said he was guilty as charged. Lumpstrom was charged with four first-degree felony counts of aggravated sexual abuse of a child. Uh, charges do not indicate where Lumpstrom taught. <laughs> but we want to keep that a secret <laughs> because you're going to see the parents going and picking up their kids that play in the band in Hurricane. It doesn't matter what school. If I was a dad, I'd say, give me that violin. Give me that tuba. <laughs> you're out of the band. It's not your fault, but you're out of the band. So anyway, here we go. Hurricane. And uh, there he is, uh, Mr. Lumstrom. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can't let your kids play even in the nerd band in Utah. Nothing, nothing is sacred. You know, the, the, the Mormons keep saying their temple ceremonies are sacred. No, they're not. They're all over the Internet. You can see any... I've got videos. Or, or yeah, I've got a video on uh, Mormon. I was a bail worker for a year in Los Angeles. So, anyway, uh, this is another funny thing. And you know what's really funny about these videos when I do uh, penis bulging from the pants or penis out of the pants? The Mormons never write in. They never have a comment. I don't think I've ever had, out of thousands of comments, I don't think I've ever had one Mormon write in and say, well, those were socks in his pants. His garments were all wadded up. He didn't have an erection. <coughs> so anyway, take it as you will. But if you come to Utah to live, don't let your kids take band. I, I wouldn't let my daughter take band, and now I'm glad. She's a wonderful little uh, piano player. But um, if you've got to stand up at any time in a Utah Mormon school uh, band concert or practice, <laughs> you better have something tight around your butt because this teacher's hands are going to be on your little girl's butt. <laughs> Damn! Love the Mormons. Love the state of Utah.